Hello beautiful people, hope you're doing very fine. Hope that your that your day has begun very beautiful. So today I decided to teach you how to cook ugali in a different way. I know many people have used to cooking ugali when put starting with water. So for me I'm going to start with flour, the portion meal flour, not that one for the fine flour for packets, no the ones it's direct from the maize cup. <clears throat> then I go there to the machine to the portion meal then they grind it for me so here i'm going to put my flour on this inside the sufria inside my cooking pot um i'm, I'm using the jiko the charcoal burner then i stir it for some minute as you can see i'm stirring the flour actually i'm cooking the flour without water i'm cooking the flour without water it's just stirring until it turns color from white to brown not that brown not that dark brown but slightly brown a slight brown like almost to brown almost to light brown but it's a change in color as you can see we're continuing i'll show you when you're coming up to that color you're going to stir it for like five minutes but for me i start it for like 10 minutes to seven minutes I keep on stirring then letting it rest for some time coming back stirring it when you do this the garlic becomes so sweet so yummy that such that you can't even go back to cooking it with water starting boiling water as you can see you see it is starting to start changing color just started changing color let me bring it closer so that you can see As you have seen it has changed color see you see there at the center where i'm smashing it you'll see that it's changing color from white to brown then i'm mixing it mixing it over and over again
So after some five to few minutes, I'm going to put some water when I'm stirring so that it can avoid the bubbles. The water which I'm adding is boiled hot water. So when you add water, don't don't add cold water. Add boiled water, very hot, hundred degrees water, boiled water. Okay. So you add while stirring to avoid the burning, the burning uh, bubbles, so that you cannot get burn on your face. Add while while stirring so that you can avoid also the the what are they called the white bumps that forms the white balls that forms in in the ugali. So this is how I cook my ugali. I know many people cook differently, but for me this is how I hold my muiko, my cooking my cooking stick. I smash little by little so that I can uh, I can avoid eating uh, some flour, some raw flour. So I, I beat it little by little, mixing. Some even put blue band, some put fla uh, cooking oil, but for me, this is how I cook it without adding any other thing, just flour and water. After I learned this new trick, I loved it because I never used to know how to cook uh, ugali, not this, the, the, the ugali for posho meal. I'll call it posho meal. Uh, I won't call the packet to garlic boss because they have different tastes. The packet to garlic is so easy to cook, not like the this one. This one, you know, you, it is not re refined. The other one is refined. This one, this one is not refined. So it's always hard to cook it. Then it has a lot of uh, time to cook it so that it can cook so very well and become so sweet. And then when you cook, you have to wait for almost even 30 minutes on it. So after I learned this new trick uh, on how to cook fast the flour, so then you add water. It becomes more sweet, more more yummy. I loved it. First when you cook it, when you're eating uh, your fish, when you cook, when you're eating your kinyeji, nem them. So after stirring, I cover it to cook for some time. Then I open it, I start smashing it again. You see it has started stuck, sticking on the, so it has started, um, it is almost ready. I just love ugali, ugali is so sweet, ugali is so yummy. Ugali is satisfying. Ugali, when you eat ugali, you see it has started revering. When you see it's not sticking on your hands, it's just started to cook. So this is how I do it. You see, even my mica is so clean and clear. Then this is after. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.